Hello, I'm Helen Glover. I'm excited to be here at Cotswold Outdoor to get my very own boot fitting to set me up on today's adventure. So I'm here for my boot fitting. Why is it so important to get the right fit? So it's really important that we measure your feet and look at length and width versus the shape of the boot to make sure it's going to fit you right. If it doesn't fit you right, you could find that you're wearing a boot that's too small, too big, you're going to get blisters, they're going to rub. Feet come in all different shapes and sizes, as do boots. So pairing up the boot to match your foot is going to be really important. What sort of thing is it that you're doing? What sort of walking do you get up to? So it's things like if we go camping, maybe uh, walking across fields and a bit of mud, but then sometimes we'll go down to Cornwall and be walking on the cliff paths and things like that. OK, brilliant. So something that's going to give you relatively good support, a bit of ankle support, quite good grip when you're on those coastal walks. So what we'll do to start off with is we'll measure your feet, look at length and width versus what we've got in stock, what we think is going to work for you, we'll try a few on and go from there. Amazing. Normally we always make sure that you have walking socks on and measure with the walking socks on. Um, you've come in with them on already, which is great, so we don't need to change those. And then what we can do is we can do two measurements. So we're going to do an unweighted, so with your foot propped up here, and then one when you're stood up. So the reason we do that is when you stand up, depending on the strength of your arches, your foot can elongate for about half a size. OK, so I've got out a couple of options for you that we can try. The first one's a pair of Lover Renegades, the German brand. No first thoughts on those. I really like them. You can see there's there's from that measurement, you said there was a fair bit of space. Yeah. I can feel there's some space, but actually I really, I like the feel of the boot, yeah. They're a really nice boot, yeah. really comfy. Just take a walk around um, and just see how they feel. I really like them, yeah, my, my heels feel quite secure. Can you just wiggle your toes for me? Yes, yeah, so there is quite a bit of volume there, so we might look at just popping an insole in there just to lift the foot up. So we'll try two different types, one's slightly more cushioned than the other. Okay, so if you want to pop your foot up, so what I'll do is I'll just make sure that the lacing is it's done tight enough and make sure your foot's really going to be locked in there. And then keep it nice and tight all the way up to the top. Yeah, they definitely feel better, don't they? Yeah. Like, just less movement around my ankle, I think. So it just lifts your foot up a little bit, takes up a little bit of space, but does give you that extra support, which is quite nice. Yeah. I like them, yeah. So if you just want to head onto the ramp, what I want you to do is walk up to the top and just make sure that your heels aren't slipping up and down. Then turn around and head back down and make sure your toes don't hit the end and your feet don't slip forward. So you really want the boot to be holding your foot in place with no movement. So we'll try on another pair, just as a comparison, it's always good. To... So these are a much stiffer boot, a little bit heavier. How do they feel? They fit pretty similarly. Yeah. They do feel like when you walk forward, just that little bit less kind of um, give. Yeah, these are definitely stiffer yeah. and I feel like I could do a pretty hardcore adventure in them but my day to day I'd probably go for something more like a that. A bit softer, yeah. a bit more flexible. Okay, so the aftercare of products is really important. It's what's gonna make sure that the boots last as long as they possibly can. They're not going to leak, they're not gonna crack. So with leather, we'd normally recommend a wax or a conditioner. And for those particular boots, we'd normally go for the Granger's G-Wax. It's almost like a old fashioned dubbin. So you literally just rub it onto the boot. Do you put it on some cloth and then onto the boot? or just... Yeah, you can do it with a cloth and just rub it on. Um, some people just use their finger as well. Thank you so much. It was uh, it's amazing to get some boots that I know are going to fit me. No, no worries. What I'd recommend is just wear them around the house a little bit inside. Make sure you're 100% happy. You have 30 days to do that. Just wear them in, particularly in the evening once your feet are nice and hot, swelled up, and wear them for a couple of hours in the house to make sure you're absolutely happy with them before you wear them out. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully they'll take you on many adventures. Thanks. <laughs> I think I was always quite um, naive to the fact that good kit really, really makes a difference. And when you go into something prepared, the more prepared you are, the more fun you have. If you're thinking about going and getting a fitting, I think there's nothing to lose, you'll learn something about your foot type or even your back shape and the way your shoulders sit and what, what is appropriate for you. Um, and I just think that a little bit of knowledge, especially if you're, if you're investigating what kit is going to be good for you, I think knowledge is, is really key with that. A little bit of time, care and effort and really crucially speaking to the right people can mean that you start your adventure as well as you finish it.